world. And now is the time when I make up a song. All right. I did, I did. <laughs> so please, please clap for all the artists who have been in this place of like, just open, doing some improv worship, listening to, to where God has taken. Please clap for all that that's gone, all that's gone on already today, because there's been some some beautiful moments of that going on. And so they're going to share a scripture, and and uh, we're going to sing a song to. Hello, my voice is very hoarse. I'm going to try to get through this. Um, I'm going to read out of Psalm 46. This is kind of about God being our protector um, and about storms. It says, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear even if earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. I like this part. It says, let the oceans roar and foam. Let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. It kind of reminds me of the vibe of just, just bring it on. You know, just bring on the earthquakes, bring it all on, because I know that my God is my refuge and strength. He's going to get me through it. The next part says, A river brings joy to the city of our God, the sacred home of the Most High. And I've read this before, uh, and I thought, I, I thought of like a, a city, like a golden city, you know, where God lives. You know, maybe it's just like, a, you know, figurative or whatever. But last night I was reading it, and I thought, uh, what well, it says, God himself lives in that city. It can't be destroyed. And I thought, we are the city. God lives within us. It's a sacred place inside of us. He lives. And I started thinking about the anatomy of the body and like the intestines and, uh, you know, your capillaries and arteries and your heart and lungs and all this. And from like an aerial view, maybe spiritually, it kind of looks like a map and like a city. I've been looking at maps a lot while I've been driving here. And um, so that was pretty cool just thinking about we, we are where God lives. We are the city of God. And um, he lives here. And it... It, we can't be destroyed through any storm. And the next part, I love this. It says, God will protect it, the city, us, at the break of day. And I started thinking about how, you know, here's the storm at the nighttime. There, there's going to be a breakthrough, and it's right here, this middle part, right before when the sun's trying to burst forth, burst through. You're going to get your breakthrough. This part right here, this crucial, very kind of a vulnerable time. Don't give up. It's coming. The breakthrough is coming. You know, and so and, and so just hold tight through the storms and uh, the storms you go through aren't just for you. They're for everybody. It's what you do during them. What, get, what gets you through is what's important. And that's where my friend here is going to speak about that. Hello. Um, my verse is Isaiah 55 verse 12. And it says, um, you will live in joy and peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song and the trees of the fields will clap their hands. And what we're doing today is we're worshiping God and we're not only worshiping, you know, it's just the trees and the grass and you know, the mountains back there, it's all worship. And like back there when the um, when she talks about the storm, like how all the um, tents flew down, that was God's just strong power, just showing us how he um, works. And how we overcome that is by worship. So that's fine. You, you are my refuge You, you are my strength Through the pouring rain Sing that with me, you're my refuge You, you are my refuge You, you are my strength You are my refuge You, you are my refuge Through the pouring rain through the pouring rain The darkness comes The clouds arrive And blocks my skies The darkness comes 
Through the pole.